In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Malwarebytes. So if you suspect your computer has a virus or you just want to keep your computer safe for any threats or malware, I'm going to show you how we can go and do this. Now, the first step is just to go and open up an internet browser. In the search box, search for Malwarebytes and press enter. You can then click on this top website, which is Malwarebytes.com. You can then press free download from the top right hand side, and that should automatically begin downloading to your downloads folder. Now, if your download doesn't start automatically, you can always press this click here button. So once it's finished downloading, go and open up the downloaded file. And now we can go through the steps to install this. So I'm going to press install, choose your protection type. I'm going to click on personal and then select next. Now you have the choice to also install browser guard, which is basically an extension to help protect your internet browser. Now this is really optional, but I'm going to press skip this step and then you can just wait for this to install. Once it's finished installing, press open open malware bytes. Now once you have this open, press get started. You can click on maybe later and then just press continue with free trial. You could then click on got it. Now the first thing I'd recommend doing if you suspect your computer has a virus or any malware is to go and select run full scan and this will scan your computer for any potential viruses or threats. So you just need to go and wait a few minutes while this performs the scan. Now if you come down to your taskbar in the bottom right hand side, you'll see we have this malware bytes icon. Now you can go and right click on this and this is going to show you the protection that's currently enabled. So at the moment we have all of these different protections turned on. If you ever need to disable these, you can always toggle them off like so. So it's really as simple as that guys. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful.